today's a quiet day. Starting tomorrow, it's not going to be so quiet outside, but you want to maintain your sense of quiet inside, like the eye of a storm. When I was a child, a hurricane came over Long Island. Two hurricanes actually came within close succession. And in one case, the eye went right over our house. And sure enough, it was still in the middle of the eye. Then the eye passed, up, passed by, and then the storm started up again, very violently. So you want to be the eye in the middle of whatever storm of activity. Fortunately, there's not going to be a lot of greed, aversion, and illusion swirling around, but there's going to be a lot of activity, a lot of different people with a lot of different ideas, different ideas of what you should be doing, what they should be doing. And you want to maintain the sense of being the eye in the calm, in the middle of the storm. You can keep your awareness with your breath grounded in your body and let the storm swirl around you, but you don't have to swirl around with it. If you get caught up in other people's opinions and other people's emotions, okay, you suddenly find yourself in the storm. So try to stay right here with your breath coming in, going out with your sense of the body and the energy in your body being healthy and flowing well without a lot of tight centers inside you. That way you can move through the storm. And you'll be the calm eye. We have a lot of calm eyes in the middle of the storm, okay, then, then the winds are going to dissipate and everything will go very smoothly. So stock up on some good, calm time today. Whatever your activities, whatever your chores from the course of the day, try to do them with a sense of you're in, grounded in your body and you're calm, so that you can carry that attitude, carry that state of mind into the day, into the next day and then the next. That way you can get through the storm without being blown around.